So is there, because, you know, Democrats and, and other critics, too, have said you know, there's a question mark between whether what's happening or what has happened in Iowa with a man who was allowed to stay here for seven years um, using some fake documents is what we're learning from the farm he worked for there. Uh, but he was here for a long time and employed with that place for up to four years. Is there a connection or a cross path between that and people on our southern border crossing in illegally? What do you see? Look, this person was in the country illegally, and this person admitted to killing this, to this young lady. So that's the two facts, right? Now, mm -hmm. because he successfully hid out, because he successfully hid from authorities for four years, doesn't make it okay. And that's why in the last year and a half, when I was the ICE director, I was pushing, look, we, we do prioritize criminals. 89% uh, of everybody arrested had a criminal history, but mm -hmm. you can't forget about everybody else. You can't wait for them to commit a crime then all of a sudden make it a priority. We have to enforce the immigration laws across the board, still prioritize criminals. When I was the acting ICE director, I, I instructed increase of worksite enforcement 400%. When I left, we're already at 300%. We gotta take that magnet away. He came here to get a job. If we would've took, the, if that magnet would've been taken away. If we had a wall, if we had the, 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 the loopholes in the immigration system fixed, mm -hmm. who knows what could, you know, if he wasn't here, the young girl would be alive today and it is sad. Uh, that a tragedy like this has to bring it to the attention of the American people once again. Yeah, and, and by touching on that, you sort of bring into the point of the politicizing of all of this. And I'm curious, because you led your team at ICE uh, as acting director up until just a few weeks ago. Um, and, and so you were tasked with, you got to put out, I guess, the noise of the politics, but it's hard to when people are accusing you of, of maybe having less of a heart with these issues. You know, people ought to wear my shoes for the last 34 years and see what I've seen. I've been, I, I was in the back of a tractor trailer and 19 dead aliens and a five-year-old little boy. Mm. Something, something, something that still gives me nightmares. So to, to say that I or any, any of these uh, heroes at ICE don't have a heart, they're all fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters. They've seen some tragic things. So this, is, this isn't just about enforcing law. This is about saving lives. And that's one thing you won't hear the far left talk about. Border Patrol agents, you know, these American patriots that wear that green uniform and stand on the front line every day had over 2,000 saves last year. 2,000 people, they saved their lives because they're at the hands of smugglers who left them stranded in the desert and they were going to die. The men and women of ICE and the men and women of Border Patrol have saved many, many lives, but you don't hear about that. Yeah. Is there something that you would say to a Kate Steinle or a Molly Tibbetts family? I mean, you're talking about those 34 years and, and we're all learning from you what some of the experiences were. What I would say is you have a president now that has given you a voice. I've met with the families, the angel moms, the angel dads. I got an email from Don Rosenberg last night who lost his son to an illegal alien. I can tell you that the president himself, and I've been in that room, he met with these angel families. His heart goes out to him. He's the first president that I know of that gave them a voice. He, cre he created the Victims of Immigration Crime Office at ICE. This president is deeply committed to this issue. This president is doing his job. He wants to protect this country. He wants to protect the United States citizens, and he's given a voice to the victims of immigration crime. His president's doing the right thing. He's doing his job. And I think, I, and I've talked to many, m most of these angel families, they all love this president. Mm -hmm. They all love this president's giving them a voice, and they're glad this president's in their corner. Thomas Homan, former acting director at ICE and now Fox News contributor. Thank you.